Super. Super. Super Hot is an indie FPS with strategy elements where you slow down time whenever you stop moving. It's pretty cool. It was developed by the Super Hot team in 2013 as part of the 7 day FPS challenge. And originally it was a browser based game, but it's now launching as a full game on February 25th, which is only a few days away, on PC. And then in March 2016 it will be arriving on the Xbox One. Uh, as you can see, the only options you get here at the start are screen res, which is pretty standard, um, and with features in NVIDIA and AMD, you can actually scale that up to 4K. Um, these two graphics options, that's it, best and fast. So the game is actually framed as a, a hack of sorts. When you open up the game for the first time, you get sent an anonymous message from a guy claiming to have hacked a games company and that he can send you the files. And that's why this is all this MS-DOS stuff and it all feeds into that sort of stripped down feeling of the game. It made the game look a lot better, all this sort of stripped back 90s look of the menus because you go in and you're suddenly hit by the sharp lines and bright colours. It looks really good I thought. The graphics options are standard, are gamma, which you can sort of change, set it up so you can make the brightness a lot more aggressive. And then you have an uh, anti-aliasing effect, um, there's still a bit of aliasing even with it on, but it does make the edges of polygons look a lot better and a lot smoother. And chromatic aberration, which induces a sort of blurred periphery effect. Some people would argue that it makes the game look worse, but I think in this sort of stylized game it actually adds a lot to the effect of it. Either way, it won't matter too much though, because most machines are going to be able to run this at a steady 60. I had no trouble, I couldn't even get it to dip below it at all, so even at 4K, happy at 60 frames. Alright, so let's jump in and see how it all looks. immediately you can see how much different the game looks from its menus which I think is partly the point of the menus is to make the game look a lot better than it is and so the game's bread and butter is this slow down effect so as I'm not moving at the moment everything moves really slowly but if I move forward you can see everything sort of goes really fast and it's kind of a, this mixture of mechanics between slow-mo and fast FPS that separates the game from other shooters so when I say down here you can see a bullet coming towards me and as you see the frames don't drop when I'm moving, when I'm still, I mean, two guys on the screen now, multiple bullets being rendered but no problems at all. I think the game just looks really great, you know, the colours work really well and the sort of highlighted red of the enemies really makes them stand out. So here you can see what the anti-aliasing effect actually changes. I mean there's a definite improvement with no performance cost whatsoever, still just hitting that steady 60. And if you check out the enemy's leg you can see it's much much smoother on the right and in this kind of game visual style you need that smoothness. When moving fast you can't really pick up the difference but in slow motion the jagged edges become severely noticeable. Superhot looks much cleaner and sleeker with it so you'll want to have that on. The chromatic aberration effect produces this sort of glowy blur at the edge of the screen which you can see on the right hand side. It really adds to the dreamlike feel of super hot, which is the kind of the aesthetic the game's going for, but it feels way more detailed graphically with it off. As before with the AA, this graphics option produces not a single drop frame, so it really does come down to what kind of visual style you want to enjoy while playing the game. Superhot is a really cool concept that's been executed in a really satisfying way. The slow motion is a really cool feature that will often distract you, literally to death. The game runs incredibly smoothly, which is all you can ask, and the graphical style makes the visuals of the game really stand out. Overall I'd say the game is well worth a buy, especially considering how cheap it will be. It's out in a few days, so make sure to check on Steam for when the store page is available. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a like and subscribe as I'll be making more of these in the future. Thanks for watching.